So, uh, first of all, uh, the passing game was a lot more explosive today than it's been in previous weeks. What do you think was working there with the, you know, the receivers and Ken Seals um, to find those big plays on offense? Well, listen, some of that is in the design. And, and um, I think we talked about this last week coming out of um, the Georgia loss that, you know, we, we need to be more aggressive as coaches so our players feel that and can play more aggressively and play more confidently. And I think that um, there were some good play designs there and, and Ken and the boys stepped up and executed and, and made the play when, when it was needed. Um, I, I honestly, I think there's going to be more left on the bone when we watch the film and there are going to be opportunities for us to to um, to finish or find some open guys, um, but that that that's that's football, right? Um, I was proud of the way uh, the, the the Kenny threw it and the receivers caught it. We got the tight end involved a little bit today too, which was nice. And so I think there's a lot to build on there. Robbie, hi Clark. Um, defensively, from your perspective, what uh, you know maybe didn't go so well after you guys went up 27 to 16 when they had the, the two touchdown drives, including you know on the fourth and 18 uh, at the end. Yeah, I mean, listen. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up just a little bit and just say because you know there's a lot on defense that we're gonna want to we're going to want back and we're going to need to clean up and we're not happy with that performance defensively, but I do want to point this out. We came out of halftime and, you know, we needed the offense to step up and, and drive and score and let's start to separate in the third quarter. And we weren't able to do that defensively. I thought our first drive was, was also poor, but we forced a field goal that missed, you know, we turned around then and uh, came up with a fourth down stop off a short field um that led to three for us and then we we got an interception that led to a touchdown so there's a 10 point swing there at the start of the second half um that that shows what this defense is capable of and they have stepped up in big moments a number of times um this season you know um we need to make a play at the end of the game and uh, you know on the long fourth down there they're, they're heaving the ball up into double coverage we have better position at the finish than they do, you know, we got to come down with that ball. Or we got to knock it down and then go, go, uh, go finish the game with the four minute offense. I think, I think pass rush, uh, uh, both the generating a pass rush and then pass rush lane integrity continues to be an issue. Um, you know, they had the, the, the touchdown um, there where they, they had the scramble on third and long, uh, a face mask on, on a sack and then a fourth and five that was in the first half at the end of the first half, a, um, a fourth and five conversion uh, on a one-on-one -on -one ball. You know, we have to win more one-on-ones and that there's going to be coaching involved in that, right? There's going to be fundamental technical aspects of, uh, of that. And then there's going to be, um, you know, your know, players stepping up and making plays in moments. And so there's shared responsibility there. We'll, we'll look at it and we'll improve where we can. Um, but listen, it was the offense's night to finish and they did. And um, again, like I said, we'll, we'll take an ugly win any day, knowing that we have a long way to go and that hasn't changed. Uh, and we, we have a lot to, to learn, learn from tonight and we will do that, but we'll enjoy doing it off a good result. Chris? Yeah, Clark, sometimes games like these become a blur, but walk us through the last drive uh, what you guys were thinking in terms of what you were looking for as a staff and how you feel felt Ken executed it and particularly uh, that fourth and four call that ended up being big that you guys converted and, and allowed you to get in position to win it. So yeah, we we were anticipating um, you know the 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 cover two they've been playing in past situations and um, the third down I thought we were going to get and and I you know uh, that one was to throw him to Shep. And it looked like the, the DB just get, did a good job of um, uh, getting in there and breaking it up. Um, on the fourth down, we knew we had Devin. I thought Devin did a, a nice job. And you want to talk about evolution from game one now um, to game five. You know, Devin did a great job of run, running his slant and like di dying in the window. Um, Ken put it on him and Devin kept his feet alive and turned it into a big play for us. Um, you know, Without breaking down all the nuances, Chris, I just would say 
um, you know, what, what, what we needed was for Ken to step up and to play with confidence, um, you know, going out on that drive, he, he had a look in his eye that he was determined to get it done. And, um, you know, he stepped up in a big moment for us. And, um, you know, I want to celebrate that because I think for a young, this is a young quarterback still. And I, I mentioned this on the radio, but it's not even just about tonight, you know, like this is about how we, how, how we grow him and build him into the future. And I think this is a great opportunity to say, you know, a moment where he found a way to win it, um, you know, with, with his offensive teammates, but he stepped up in big ways, you know, let, let's use this to, to propel him forward in his career as well, because he's young, but he's capable and we got to keep coaching him. And, and we're just proud of him for, for how he finished tonight. Aria. Um, so, you know, there was a, a video of you headbutting Gabe <laughs> Judy Lally after he made that interception. So, you know, first of all, what was kind of your uh, going through your head at that at that moment? And also just, you know, what do you did you see from, you know, Gabe in terms of being able to make that play? I guess in my, my heart, I'm still a fullback, Aria. So, you know, I'm just seeking contact. Uh, I'm, I'm just happy for Gabe, you know. I mean, Gabe's a first-class guy. He works hard every day. He's, he, he stitches into the fabric of our team every single day. And he stepped up when we needed somebody to step up. And, you know, um, my excitement is just excitement for him. And, um, you know, uh, listen, we, we – um, we have moments where, you know, we, we let our excitement shine through and the emotion um, of the game is fun and we want that to come out and I want to share that with them too. So that's all that was just, I'm happy for Gabe and, you know, he, he's going to, he's going to look at the film and yeah, I've already talked to him on the way in, you know, he's going to look at it and say, there's a lot more out there for him to do, but that he made that one and that one was huge for this program. And so uh, I wanted to, to celebrate it appropriately with him. Chris. What was that run of emotions like from the, the endless timeouts at the end there to just the the feeling in the locker room afterwards after getting one like that at the last minute that, that you you kind of lose late uh, and then you get back? I mean, it's – yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's – those are those moments, right, that you – you know, it's not why you do it, right? You do it for the impact. You do it for the relationships, but – um, boy, is it fun to win and to see young people have success who've worked so hard. I mean, these guys, uh, I can't say enough about their resilience. And, and what we're doing is we're shedding the past, right? We're shedding the past. We're stepping into the future here. And that's painful. I mean, that's hard and it's painful. And yet we're going to have a lot of fun doing it as we find our identity here, uh, just as competitors. And, um, and, and as we find that rhythm that takes us into our future here as a program. And so, you know, I'm just happy for our guys. I'm happy for the fact that they can celebrate it. And I'll tell you, um, there were a lot of defensive players that had some long faces too, you know, and I, that tells me that they're prideful in what they're doing too. They want to they wanna step up and make the big play in the moment there at the finish. And so uh, us learning how to enjoy the success as a, a program and handling personal disappointment, but celebrating the team win um, and, and growing and moving forward from it. I mean, it can be a great lesson for us and a great you know building block as we move this program into the future. Avi? Clark, uh, in the offseason, how important was it for you guys to go out and get a kicker like Joe Bolo from Bolivis, who, you know, has experience in all that? Because, you know, last year, a um, 31-yard field goal was, was not a layup uh, for this team. Well, independent of last year, I mean, I, I, I think, the kicking game is critical. And so, you know, for us to be able to find someone that has experience that, you know, uh, I mean, he's had a couple big moments for us already. And particularly as we're, again, we're scratching and clawing and finding a way to win, you know, three points become a, a huge impact in winning. So um, yeah, we're, we're, we're grateful we have him, and, and, um, and very happy for him again, that, that um, that he was able to step up and we, we were able to get him in the position to win it. Cause once we got him in position, we, we knew he was going to knock it down and he did. And so, um, you know, we're, we're, we're grateful he's on our team. I got one more quick one. Um, so when you head butted Gabe, like 
you, it looked like you were kind of like rubbing your forehead and you've got a mark on your forehead. Like, did you bruise your forehead? Did you feel like you, you had butted him too hard or something? I, well, I, I think it's just a moment for me where, again, I, I uh, you would think that I'm smarter than that being a Vanderbilt guy, but uh, I got, I, I'm, I'm a little nicked up. I'll, I'll go see the trainer tomorrow, get some ice or something. I'll be all right, though. I'll, I assure you I'll be ready to roll tomorrow. All right, you have another? Chris? Yeah, two quick ones. Um, Cam only got targeted once tonight. Was, was there an injury or something with him in play? No, just how, just how the ball was distributed. You know, um, obviously we feel like we have a number of really good players and, you know, Devin stepped up and with Shep and Pierce and, you know, I mean, Cam, Cam is, uh, Cam is steady. Cam has been reliable. Cam has stepped up in big moments for us this year to this point too. But, um, you know, tonight it was, it was the other guy's turn and that's just, uh, where the reads took the ball. So, um, I'm sure he'll, be excited for those other guys and and be ready for for his uh because it's coming you used the rugby punt at, at times tonight was that something that you saw in their return game or something that you wanted to kick away from or what was the the reasoning with that yeah it's the same it's the same we we struggled in in our coverage units and so we wanted as a change up uh to create imbalance and returns um and and harrison um, you know, it's kind of taken to it a little bit. So, um, you, you know, um, it's, it's just a tool for us. It's just something we can use to, to flip the field. And, and obviously um, on our last punt, you know, they put two guys back there as a result that can slow down the rush. I mean, there's a lot that, that um, a lot of impact it can have on, on the way uh, returns are set up. So just a tool for us. We'll continue to use it and um, also allow Harrison to kick it deep too. That's it. Congrats on the win. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you.